Hi, I'm going to show you how to properly square a conveyor belt. The first thing we want to do is release tension and clamp the belt. I've also dropped the troughing idlers and added wood underneath the belt to create a flat work surface so it's easier to work on. When squaring a belt, we want to find the center line of the belt. To do that, we're going to go ahead and measure across. Instead of working with fractions, I'm going to angle the tape measure and take half of the first whole number. Here I'm working with 26, so I'm going to mark it at 13. And we're going to want to do that in multiple points across the belt. Once again, 26, half of that is 13. You can see here, I'm contacting the tape measure on the left corner here, so that I'm going to work off of that side of the tape measure. 26, and half of that is 13. Now we're going to go ahead and join those marks together, and that's going to give us that average center line of this belt. And now we found that center line. From there, we got a couple different options on how to figure out the square from that center line. If you have a square, we can go ahead and lay that across. And we're going to line up that center line. And then I'm going to mark half of that belt. And then we'll take that square and we'll bend it over. I'm gonna line up the inside and I'm gonna line up that square I already have and we're gonna extend that across. So that's one method on how to find the square of a conveyor belt based off of the center line. A more precise, precise method is if I took my tape measure after finding that center line, I'm gonna go ahead and take an equal measurement across. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and take the measurement of nine inches. And we're gonna do that a couple times on each side. And then we're going to do that again on the opposite side. And then we're going to connect those points. And now those are acting just as fake edges based off of that center line. From there, I can go ahead and use the square method again, or I can even just pick a point off of that center line, any random point from where you want to cut, and then I'm going to go ahead and angle. So because of the play at the end of a tape measure, I like to start at the reference of one, and I'm going to angle the tape measure to that point, and I'm going to pick a whole number. Here I'm going to reference 21, and I'm going to mark that line right at that edge I created. And then because I went on the inside of the belt there, when I do the opposite side, 
I'm gonna wanna keep that tape measure on the inside. Once again, going off of one, I'm gonna mark it at 21. And now using those two lines, I can go ahead, join those together. And that also is gonna give me the square of that belt. And so those are both cut lines that I can make knowing that the belt is square.